You're watching the Steve's Haunted Yard Channel. Get your haunt on. <laughs> Holy crap, it's a turkey. I'm rotisserieing a turkey. Never before done. Damn, that looks good. Oh, man. Mmm, you look good, turkey. Alright, so people. So, my front door was this dark brown and this light tan. Like, two-tone. I'm thinking this yellow, just solid yellow. It's probably going to look the best. So I'm going to do all this yellow, the whole door yellow, everything solid yellow. What do y'all think? I think it's going to look awesome. Alright guys, just about done with my yellow door. Man, I've never been much of a yellow guy. But I'm telling you, this red door knocker with this yellow. Man, I just don't think there's a better combination. People, Saturday, went garage selling today. Ended up getting this really cool 3D um, Skillcraft model. It's a female version. We have the male version to this already, so it's kind of cool to have a his and hers. Um, got some other various stuff for the house, but I'm just showing you my Halloween stuff. Or Halloween creepy-ish stuff. So, I ended up getting um, this candle for a quarter. It, it still works. I got all these foam pads. I'm going to put these uh, in the workshop. And I mean, I could even cut some of them up and use them for other props uh, if I wanted to for a couple bucks. And then on the way home, we just, there was a neighborhood in our garage sale. Well, I'm, I was going to buy some of this trim for my uh, project I'm doing right now for my facade. Well, there was a whole box of this stuff, and I was like, hey, how much is this? And the guy's like, oh, I'm actually just working on the driveway. So this stuff is meant to go in the cracks to, to redo your cracks so um, the grass doesn't grow all up in there. And then you put this concrete stuff on top of it. Well, he's like, oh, what, are you, what were you doing with it? And I explained to him I was doing Halloween. He goes, oh, just take half of it. So I just got all that for free. Too awesome. All right. Also, I got my uh, tubes that I'm using for the facade and started kind of roughing out the base what it's gonna look like. Alright people, I haven't really worked on this a whole a whole lot. I know I had the weekend off but I basically wanted to get the girls uh, bedrooms finished um, but I did get the other side of this trim on. I'm gonna kinda go up onto the second half with this um, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do. It's going to, you know, come up and meet somewhere here. I got this side of the trim on. This wasn't there. And um, I only had this one side, so I got this other front half on. So I got a little bit done this weekend. I uh, didn't want to paint because I just painted two bedrooms. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much all I got done on that. Going slow, but I guess really next is just painting. Um, maybe set this out uh, next week when I'm off onto the driveway and lay it flat and then figure out what design I'm going to do up on this and then start working on the columns that are going to go here. Um, and figure out what I'm going to do for the stained glass window. And then paint. Right, peeps. So I got the rough bases cut out for both. Um, they're empty on the inside. The The actual facade wall will be behind here. So I'm not going to do a piece back there. So I guess I'm going to get these all uh, attached together and glued together. And then put them in front of the house to see if they fit, see what it looks like. Alright, so I'm joining these together. I um, wanted to show you, um, sometimes I use kind of just what I have. But there was some of this on sale the other day, this liquid nails. It works pretty good for just about anything. So I'm joining all the joints together with liquid nails. And then I'm also screwing them together. Just quiet on the set. 
And now I'm gonna, now that this is glued on, I will put some screws in it and it will be sturdy. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna post this on YouTube. Well, yeah. Duh. Wait, you're gonna post this video on? Sure. Cool. This is, uh, a hustle. A car. And then. Not all the stuff that you're pointing other uh, away from the project. supposed to be filming the project. Okay, okay, okay. That's what people want to see. Look at that. Eh. One problem done. Ooh, what did I step on? Okay. So, I'm going to go about right there. It's good. Are you just pointing my belly? <laughs> so there's the column. And there's my finished door, by the way. Did I show you guys this yellow door? Not Man, yellow. Just kidding. It was yellow at first. But finished all the rest of it. And we took those black screens off so you can see that cool window detailing. But Ava's totally in the middle of the shot. Or I would show you guys how cool it looks. But I think it turned out really good. Alright people. For those of you who thought I was really going to paint my front door yellow. Shame on you. It was a uh, basic um, undercoat for doing this faux wood grain technique. So, turned out really good. It's still, still drying. You can see the wood grain in this. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I mean, look at that. I mean, that looks like real wood, man. Holy smokes. I just got, went and got the new hardware last night. Just put that plate on. I actually just painted that the same uh, finish as this. That one was silver. And then I just put our door knocker back on. And the sun is glaring, but I think it turned out really nice. <clears throat> so what I was doing was putting on a base coat um, to make it sort of a wood grainy feel. This is going to take several steps, but I have started doing the wood graining <clears throat> with a black. This is just straight up black stain um, using this uh, wood graining tool here. <clears throat> I've got black and espresso. Um, and then I'm going to mix in. This is kind of a little sample piece here what it's gonna look like because that's got some of the oranges and browns in there too um, that there's gonna be a kick plate that goes over that so this is kind of my test strip area but for now this is the base coat and then the dark wood graining coat so when I put the other coats on top of this it'll be more of a solid coat translucent and then you'll vlogging? see this wood what are you vlogging are you vlog bombing I'm vlog bombing why are you vlog bombing me? Because I wanted your phone. You scared me. <clears throat> that was my phone. Julie scared me through that hole. Anyway, so that's my deal. So shame on you if you thought I was really painting this door canary yellow. It's so gross. Right, babe? Right. <laughs> Please subscribe today.